it's time for the greatest athleticism you've ever seen in your life. The professionals are quaking in their boots. With the many videos out there of people that excel in their sport, there's a series as it is now time to watch me suck at bowling. Welcome to week three of four for the month of January 2018. Watch me suck at bowling coming to you from Colonial Bowl, Worcester, Mass. The city where Candlepin was born. The place where it definitely wasn't. We are bowling on lane number nine. And so far we've had two pretty good games. In spite of some really crappy throws and some really bad luck, got a 98 in the first game and a 118 in the second. We have a 216. If we can do well, the very new high triple of 325 could fall. Will it? Probably not, but it's a possibility. Anyway, speaking of people that can get even way higher than that, Watch We Suck at Bowling is proud to sponsor Hit Canada TV Show, King of the Palace, where you can watch people hit 400 on a triple if they play three. Type King of the Palace in the YouTube search bar and watch your heart's content. If you like what you see, go to youtube.com slash new palace lanes. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you can see new videos as they come along. And now, will we break it again? Or is it going to stick? And if it's going to stick, it hasn't been all that long standing anyway. Let's find out. points instead of being the hero and the middle finger of the bowling gods is waving at us which we purposely missed because why risk the pointage and that's a nine for those of you who like the pin setters here's the bowlmore in action Seven pins hidden by a chain. I thought I had a full two. Anyway, there you go. Frame two, ball one. In a previous episode, I mentioned I thought there might have been a full two on seven, being the whole pin center at least. It's half twos here. Ball two. So far, it's a pretty decent game. A pair of nines, four and 18. It looks like the high triple that was broke not really all that long ago might still be standing. Then again, it's only been about a month at time of recording. Of course, these are recorded in advance. Frame three, ball one. Ball two. Once again, just barely behind the lob line, 
if it's ever so slightly over, we'll let it live. But we try not to. Still good. Just barely behind it. Look at how fat that pin is now. Let's get that spare. Sort of like that. A lot of, a lot of combinations would work. Those two frames were too bad. We got an eight and three, spare and four. So far, we have a 36 without Stinko to determine how the fourth frame went. Frame four, ball one. El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? El Stinko is a week four. Ball two. Ball three. That piece of wood rolled way too slow, but weren't we all hoping anyway? Is a 10 with authority. Frame six, ball one. Yeah, six. Ball two. Don't that look familiar? Just a mirror image. Another 10. If that pin only rolled a little bit faster in frame five. Still, we got a 10. And again, a 10 and six. Oddly enough, reverse leaves from ball one on each frame. We're at 60. And on this channel, if we can get a third 10, we got what we call on this channel, the microwave turkey dinner. Let's grab that microwave turkey. This is recorded, speaking of turkey, the day after Thanksgiving 2019, obviously. Frame seven, ball one. Ball two. Yeah, the approaches are a bit slippery. I don't mind that. It's when they stick, I do mind. Ball three, so close yet so far away. Which one shall I go for and miss? Well, I didn't miss anything. And guess what? We got ourselves a microwave turkey dinner. And that's a 10. Frame maple one, yeah, I think the triple's gonna live, but we've had a good run. had a new palace right, but I stole it for a spare. Typically, we do well in the first half, then crash and burn. So far, it looks like at least the middle is pretty strong. We got a 10 in seven to complete the microwave turkey dinner. How appropriate for the holiday, just a day after. And then a spare and eight. So far, we have an 80 with El Stinko to See how much further that frame goes. Frame nine, ball one. El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? While 
the five fill ain't too bad. El Stinko stinks for the leave. Ball two. Just barely stayed on. Thank goodness. That's an eight. Last frame, ball one. Yeah, it's not gonna fall, but still a good game. And a good set. Ball two. If it were for almost lousy five and six leaves, we would have been better. We would have done. Would have been better. this was a tough house, I got screwed. A little weak, but I just got it anyway. Yeah, we fell short. Got ourselves a, uh... well, it'll be all added. So we got a 216, 220, 229. No, wait a minute. 216 plus 103, we may have broken. I think it was 325, and by four lousy pins, we did it. So that is uh, 8, 9, 10 in 10 with a 103. Nope, I misadded. I came very close. 319 for the triple. Not a bad set. And that's week three of four for the month of January 2020 in Watch Me Suck at Bowling. One more game to go for the month. Georgia551 saying, hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.